Welcome back to this Let's Play of Heroes Chronicles Warlords of the Wasteland. We are on the last mission now, Steelhorn, and uh, if you didn't see the last video, Arnhem kind of is losing his mind. We pretty much slaughtered peasants left and right and attacked everybody like a madman. And well, I, I won't be surprised if our captains turn on us. I, I haven't played this in many years now, so I can't remember what happens, but it won't surprise me if our captains turn on us and our victory is snatched from us right at the end. But we'll see. This scenario says Tarnum has pushed the Wizard Kings all the way back to the ocean. Now he must conquer the last of their defenses, including the impenetrable Castle Steelhorn. All right, well, we'll continue on hard. We can get three Thunderbirds or one Ancient Behemoth, really. I'll take the Behemoth, because he can pretty much tank up a storm for us. Offended by the brutal and bloody turn the war had taken, his captains banded together and demanded to go home. But Tarnum couldn't accept their defiance any more than he could make them continue the fight. So at the next feast, they unwittingly drank from poisoned cups. Oh dear. Well, I guess our captains won't turn on us, I suppose. Sheesh, Tartum just murdered all our captains. Excellent. Man, we really have lost it. You expected some of your soldiers to desert or rebel when they heard of the murders of Hardak and the other captains. But you experienced just the opposite. Your men love you. They especially love the victories you have been able to bring them. Now you promise that you'll finally break the back of the evil wizards. Wow, Hardak even. He's been with us since the very, very beginning. Sheesh. Castle Steelhorn, that which cannot be broken, will fall before us. For all eternity, the glory of what we do here will be remembered. Your grandchildren and your grandchildren's grandchildren will say your name with pride. What we do here is our immortality. Assuring us all a place among the ancestors. Except for you, Tarnum, since you're just a mass murdering bum at this point. Oh wow, yeah, look, we don't have any of our our heroes. I suppose it's supposed to be he just murdered them also. Wow. That's unfortunate. We didn't start with much of an army either. I mean we got the Behemoth, which is excellent, but we didn't get anything else. Like those goblins, they're useless. I wonder if we can, uh, where's the tavern? I uh, don't see the tavern. Can we build a tavern? No. Oh, we can't even build a tavern. So we just can't get a backup hero. Ooh, we can't build the city hall. So we can't get more money other than the like thousand we're starting with. Really? Wait a second. That's what we've got, right? Yeah, 1,000. Really? So our incomes are really hurting. I mean, we can take money from chests, I suppose. We don't really need to take XP at this point, but... So we have to win with with just Tarnum, though, because we got nothing else. We got no other heroes. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. We should recruit what we can here a little bit more of an army. Okay, turn up, turn up, go, go grab that army real quick. Um, you know what? Let's move our guy like that. Okay, well, Tarnum's gonna grab everything. That's unfortunate. I can't believe he just killed everybody. Uh, okay, they're gonna flee. I was gonna say, I guess I'll just kill them. Yeah, those trolls aren't going to be anything. I mean, you gotta think, the behemoths have... Let's see. Not only do they have 300 health, they got 38 defense. Like, they've only got a 14 attack. We'll just move him up here. And that's fine, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, he can just charge forward and start beating the tar out of these guys. Oh, Andy got good luck, wow. I mean, how much damage can they actually do to this guy? 16. Eh. Yeah, uh, that behemoth's going to be able to carry us pretty much. Legs of the Legion. That's an unfortunate find. Because the legs of the, any parts of the Legion are only going to be useful if we can be, like, in our stronghold. 
right at the end of the week because you because these give you growth of something so like this one gives you your second level units you get five more per week which isn't bad that's what our, our wolf riders yeah so if we're in the town when the creature growth happens we'll get five more but the odds of Tarna being there isn't very high so maybe we can time it out we'll see like normally I would give that to a a backup hero or just hire somebody because it is worthwhile to get five every week especially if the map takes a while it's a medium sized map it said so that's a pretty good sized map maybe we'll be able to get another town and hire some heroes from there is my only hope and then we could put somebody in this town with the item because we are in a corner so it's a good defensive spot it appears um i guess i'll do the usual get the mess hall the citadel the castle so at least my base units i'm getting a lot of troops we will build up the whole town this time though probably unless money really becomes a problem we're attacking peasants again just told all our troops i don't know why uh our soldiers drank from poison cups i'm as shocked as you Like how this one behemoth's just running amok, pretty much. There's really nothing these enemy armies can do about it. Let's get the, uh, the ore. And also, let's just continue to build up our town as usual. Um, because this is our fi the final map, we don't particularly need to grab like worry as much about uh you know things that increase our power like stat boosts and stuff i mean they'd be nice but we're already at what 29 18 i mean we're pretty powerful like, stat boosts won't hurt us of course but there's no reason to like go out of our way for them because all we have to do is defeat castle steelhorn and we'll win all right, let's see. I don't know if he can kill them with one hit, actually. No. Oh, well, he gets an, I guess an extra turn, really. Uh, let's just kill this guy off, because this guy's probably... Yeah, he's too slow to even get there, so... Yeah, they're only doing 12 damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. They can't deal enough damage. That'll give us some extra, extra lumber there. Oh, your spies report that there are at least two castles and three towers between you and Castle Steelhorn. You've caught the enemy unaware. Your horde arrived here so quickly that Brackadoon hasn't been able to man them all. Now is not the time to relax, though. Attack quickly, and you'll forever have an advantage over them. All right. Oh, we got the inexhaustible card of ore. Nice. Gives you, what, an extra wood every day, so, no, that doesn't hurt. Yeah, I'd say the fact that we don't have an extra uh, hero to help run around and grab things is a big liability. But hopefully if we take a town, we can get that. Cyclops cave, yes, please. Oh, wait, don't start combat. I need to move my uh, moths up first. Let the behemoths continue to carry. I do like leadership. There we go. Cyclops, that's awesome. Um, these or chieftains out of our way. Good. Looks like it might be a dead end here, so we'll clear this and then go up, probably. Um, hmm, I suppose now we've got five, six, we got three more days. I'll try to build the rest of these. The problem is, as you can see, our money's already getting tight.
Yeah, most of these armies are fleeing before us. We definitely will take money. But, I mean, the XP is only going to be so good at this point. How much do we need for the next level? Another 11,000? I mean, we may be able to get there, but hopefully we'll get there through fights. Um... All right, well, there's a portal there's a two-way, good. Monolith two-way, excellent. Cyclops cave, uh, I don't have enough crystal for that. Okay, well, let's get the cliff nest for now. And we'll see if we can get another creature building next turn. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh, we find a weak-looking band of miners camped at the side of the road. Even as your army approaches, they make no move to flee. They're too tired. Apparently these men have, are escaped slaves who fled Brakadoon control to join the horde. It amuses you when you realize they don't know who you are, so you tell them to visit the rear of the column for food. Tell them King Tarnum says so, you say to them as they hike away. The men are so impressed, they offer to join your forces. Excellent. Get these master gremlins out of here. Oh, really? They want to fight us? Wow. Okay, uh, AI. I don't think them. What are these master gremlins going to do? Yeah, 26 damage, I was going to say. What are you going to do, master gremlins? Why don't you get a job? App. There we go. Oh. Really? More parts of the Legion? Huh. That really makes me think I'm gonna be able to build the entire statue of the Legion. That would be nice if we can get a hero. Well, let, here's hoping, I guess. We got the loins of the Legion, which is our third level units. Our orcs get four per week. Very nice. Oh wait, let's grab the gold mine. That gold mine's huge. Well, let's see if we can grab this gold, and then we'll see what we can build in our town. Really? This pack of Arc Magi wants to fight us? I'm surprised these little tiny packs want to fight us. I mean, the Behemoth by himself could kill them. With the rest of our army, you, we should be considered overwhelming to these guys. Oh no, we lost two goblins. Probably could have positioned them in some way better. To not lose them, maybe? But I, I'm not that worried about it. I'm trying to think if I should swing by our town, because I could grab soldiers. Hit the windmill. Hit the Cyclopses. I could grab all the troops up on the way out. I don't know how tough they're going to be. Hmm. Oh, I don't really have any money, though. Oh, I can't even get the Cyclops Cave. I still can't afford it. I can get the Behemoth, though. Oh, uh, which means I don't have any money, though. Okay, so I'm. let's not do that, then. I've got no money. Hopefully we'll be able to find another town. And a hero here. <clears throat> I wonder if this is a town... a castle? Yes. Let's see if we can ca capture this. Ah, yes, there's nobody in it. You consult your seer as you do every morning. She throws the bones, stares at them for a long time, and says, Assemble the broken mat, the statue of Legion, which, uh, with it, uh, excuse me, with it will come strength and glory. Pikeman growth, really. Okay, there's still nobody there. Excellent. Um, let's get the hall built. I may have to hold off on building more, I don't know. Let's crush these peasants real quick. What? I can I can't believe these guys didn't flee. It must be scripted for them not to, because I mean there's no way 39 peasants could defeat anybody here pretty much. We could send the goblins in to kill them. I mean, like this army's just pitiful. Alright, uh so let's go see if we can get another hero, and then they can start grabbing all the resources. I mostly just wanted to kill the sold the troops because the, we don't want them in the way. 
Nearly every peasant in the surrounding area must have gathered to stand against you and your army. A massive legion of these raggedy wizard lovers stands in your way, calling you Tarnum the Murderer. How dare they? That's a lot of guys. Oh, I mean, we'll still kill them. But let's actually position our army this time. Um. Let's position you this way. our shooters real good. Oh, and actually, I suppose I need to rotate you guys a little bit. There we go. Um, I could do something like a lightning bolt, just because there's so many of them. That'll kill yeah, a good amount of them. And then uh, let's just wait. Because now that I think about it, I may just want to ride. Just charge out. Well, maybe. That's a lot of guys. Like, they're going to get a... going to get a good shot off on us. We can be patient. Continue to wear him down a bit, because like this, I could attack and maybe kill that stack, but look how many would attack him. Let's definitely wait patiently. Everybody wait. We do want to play this smart. I mean, that's not enough guys they could prop. They might be able to kill the Behemoth if they all attacked him. I'm not really sure. Good. I'll actually wait one more turn, I think. Lightning bolt another group too. Wear them down with ranged attacks, and we can probably charge out here in a moment to kill off the rest of them. There we go. Uh, yeah, those goblins. They got a good amount of damage. There's a good, I guess it's a good sized stack. There we go. There we go. No losses against that mob of peasants. I mean, how many was that? 3,000 or something? Yeah, 3,000. That's pretty good. Wow, we got 3,000 XP for it, though. Sheesh. Actually, pretty, pretty big grab. All right, yeah, this army's pitiful. We'll be able to crush it easily. Be nice because then maybe we can uh, recruit a hero here, is my, my hope. See you though. And maybe build it up a little bit so we can actually have some uh, some money coming in, some income. We'll see you though. Let's just finish this stack off. There we go. Behemoths, get them. Surprised he didn't kill them all. Still seven left. Alright. Let's grab the money. Go in here. Ah, yes, we can get... Oh, yeah, we can build everything. Oh, bro. Wow, Portal of Glory? We can build literally everything. Okay. We got the stables now? No. Okay. I don't really have any money anyways, but... Let's have him leave, and then we'll grab the uh, grab another hero here. Let's see, Caitlyn gives us gold, and she's just a caster. Or Edric, who's a knight with a specialty of Griffin. Probably doesn't really matter. It's somebody who's just going to probably run around the edges. I guess a caster's, I feel like, nice if you have to play defense. 
And I do like 350 more gold. I could use that money. Let's hire her. She'll pay for herself quite quickly. Nice, another thousand. Good, good. Um, so I can't really afford to build anything, I don't think, right? No. Even the archer tower. Oh, I don't have enough ore. Let's so get a marketplace. Sure. That'd be good, because we may at some point need to trade resources. Um, sure, upgraded goblin barracks. That's nice. Uh, I can't afford anything. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Get out of here, rogues. I guess I don't need to collect those myself, actually. Oh, well. Get these war wyvern monarchs out of here. Alright. So, same thing as before. Let us... Get our army all grouped up. Let's run right in front of them. Taunt them. And then run back. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we're all set up. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Ooh, a hunt. Oh, the wife. Oh, okay, I was going to say. I thought the... Behemoth took 193. I say, wow. No, they only took like. What did they take? 43? No, that's fine. Um. Lightning bolt you. I think we're going to break formation. Because we probably. Kill them. Oh. Yeah, it was not bad at all. No, we lost. I mean, we lost some goblins, but we got the one of the bags. You see the soldiers resting after a long march. As you approach, they brandish their weapons and rush into formation. You see, they are transporting an artifact called the Endless Bag of Gold. And aren't about to give it up without a fight. Do you attack? Of course we do. I mean, we will attack peasants. We're certainly going to attack these guys. I'm just going to move my... My army up. We might as well... Yeah, we'll be able to deal a lot of damage here. Maybe a mass haste might be nice. We can just run them down real quick. I think if I move my range units up, it should get rid of their their range penalty. Um, we go kill them first, I guess. Yeah, I was one thinking about that. I maybe shouldn't have put the goblins where I put them because they can't. I don't really want them to attack the swordsman. Nice, good luck. Alright, uh... Oh no, they're still getting the penalty. Ah, uh, dang, I thought he was gonna be in range. That's fine. Club. Oh, nice. Alright, we'll kill you off then. Oh, we don't have the penalty against this. Alright, well, let's kill him then. Oh, I get an extra turn. Even better. Alright, well, whoever he attacks will probably kill them with the counter. Oh, no. Well, you're dead now. That wasn't too bad. Especially for the bag of gold. That's huge. How much does that one give us? Is that 500? Oh, 750. Oh, excellent. Alright, let's move these gremlins. Uh, yeah, no, sure. As well, recruit some pikemen. Uh, oh, I never cleared these zealots. Uh, hmm. Can she handle them herself? What kind of spells does she have? Cure. And that's it. Oh. 
He doesn't really have a yeah, one attack. Hmm. Hmm. Several is not very many, though. Do we take the risk? I think we might. The Archer Tower. Good. One of your scouts returns from the ocean where he had been spying on a Brackadoon Tower to the east. He tells you a story that makes you suspect this scout visits the bottle too often. I saw this great swirling hole in the water, my king, and one of the Brackadoon ships sailed right for it. I thought to myself, they are dead, when the hole swallowed them. But to my surprise, ship and crew returned the next day. Although I think there were fewer soldiers aboard than they started with. Yeah, so that's how the whirlpools work. They'll transport you somewhere, but you'll lose part of your army uh, in the process. So, Oh yeah, there's the arm of the legion. Let's get that. Oh, camped by the side of the road as if waiting for you is a band of rugged mercenaries. Their leader approaches with a cocky grin on his dirty face. The Wizard King's paid us to ambush you, but we've been talking. We'd rather wait and see who wins this war before we take sides. Move along in peace. The mercenaries step aside. I'm surprised Harnum didn't say death to traitors and attack. Just, just saying. The way Tarnum's been acting. Um, you know what I should try to get is the city hall built. I could really use some more money. Let's work towards that for that one. And over here, just upgrade some of the basics, I suppose. Question is, when should I send, uh, when should I send Tarnum back? The arms of the Legion. Good. That gives us fifth level units by two. Very nice. Um, so I guess I just want to keep removing all these armies. Oh, right, so... Let's, you know what, let's do this real quick, because I know there's some extra soldiers here now. Why don't we grab them all? Help her, help her survive this. I should have just had Tarnum deal with it, but, well, I didn't think about it. So, yeah, it's a decent sized army. Like, they're gonna take a lot of damage just walking across. Oh, I'm gonna lose all the archers, aren't I? Oh well. Like, her army's not meant to fight, but. All she knows is cure. Yeah, I guess she could do cure. That'll heal a. Oh! Oh, I must have built the Mage Guild. She can actually cast something, you know, more useful. Here, take this. I didn't even realize. Oh, did I have haste on there? Oh, I don't even know if she's gonna win this. It's so much damage. No, no haste. Shield. Hand to hand. Uh, how much health do you have left? 22. I don't know if we can win this or not. This is going to be way closer than I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Well, she can continue to magic arrow, which is nice. Yeah, I think we'll win. With an uh, incredible high amount of losses, but you know. Thankfully, magic. How much more does it? This guy still got 13 health. Sheesh. Archers didn't really get a lot done, but hey. It's a good thing we went back for those extras, though. We would not have won that without them. Oh. A fire caused by a careless cook roars through your midday camp. Your soldiers escape injury, but your supply wagons are destroyed. Although you can cut the wood, you must pay an experienced craftsman to help you build your new wagons. Dang. 1100, ouch. Whoever started that fire? Yeah, dead man. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I'm gonna grab the mines. The 
base resources, I'm not going to worry about them. Um, let's see, I guess I just need to fight. Oh, what? Really? You want to fight me, ogres? All right, well, I'll kill them, I suppose. Well, if you want to die, I'll oblige you. I mean, I should be able to just blow these to death. How much damage do they do? 23. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, they shouldn't really do that much damage. Nice. Oh, and good luck, wow. Alright. Bam, bam. Um... Let's do grab the gold. The ocean lies before you, but remember that the wizard kings have dominated dominated the seas as well as the land and may attack you at any moment. So watch your back. All right, let's continue forward. She can go grab all the other resources here in a moment. Huh, all right. Um, what kind of... Speed do they have seven? Put these guys over there. He's going to kill them probably. Oh well. Good luck. Oh, what? Survived with seven health left. Um, I guess I'll attack. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have bothered. I was going to say to eat his counterattack. I'll just let them die. Oh, he can't even reach. Oh, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, well, my ranged units probably will just batter them down now that I'm thinking about it. I don't... I forget about that. I haven't upgraded my troops yet, and so they're kind of slow. They gain a lot of speed when they gain their next, uh, their next upgrades. Um... You know what, actually, let's go and... Yeah, get the blacksmith so we can start getting the city hall built up. Because I need some money. And you know what? I think we'll stop today's video right here. I mean, so far, so good. It appears the game's giving us the first, I don't know, couple weeks free of attacks. So if I could find another castle and take it... That would be nice before they even start recruiting heroes or troops, it appears. So, if we can take a few more castles, we'll be in great shape. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts about the playthrough so far, make sure you let me know down below. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.